Every year on the 24th of March, public awareness is promoted to ensure persons know about the prevention, causes and solutions to tuberculosis. The infectious disease, which may, uh, majorly affects the lungs, records over 4,100 deaths daily with about 30,000 people contracting it each day. This is according to the World Health Organization. One of the mandates of this year is to invest, invest more in funding treatments of tuberculosis and reduce the number of deaths from the disease daily. So let's talk this through by speaking with a consultant, infectious diseases physician of Federal Medical Center, Dr. Chukwemeka Anya. Thank you so much for being with us on TBC Breakfast. Talk to us about the significance of, you know, getting to, you know, sinking into the awareness of people about this day, uh, especially the, the disease, tuberculosis. Um, well, um, tuberculosis, thank you for having me. Good morning, Nigerians. Um, tuberculosis is um, actually one of the oldest diseases of mankind, has been in existence for us, I mean, for quite some time. Earliest um, uh, relics of people that died of TB were estimated to have um, died at about 5,000 BC. Um, it's been there for all done through so many generations, despite the advances I've made in medicine and science generally. As we speak now, it's said about um, two billion people the world over have been infected by the, by, by, um, by, by the bacteria that causes tuberculosis. And um, like you said, about 4,100 people die every day from tuberculosis, um, 28,000 infections on a daily basis. So the WHO set out 24th of March every year to commemorate um, this illness, to celebrate the successes that have been recorded yeah. um, regarding the illness, um, and to still bring to the fore the social, health, and economic challenges the disease still poses the world over. Yeah. Um, a lot of progress has been made over the years by treating TB. It's estimated about 66 um, million lives have been saved between 20 I mean, the year 2000 and 2022. That's a long, a, a lot of um, progress made, but um, there's still, there's still, there are still a few challenges regarding the illness. And by the way, 20, 20, 24th of March was chosen as a date to commemorate the illness because um, it marks the exact date the first person that uh, characterized the organism mm -hmm. that um, uh, causes tuberculosis announced to the world that he had found what causes tuberculosis. And that was on the um, 24th of March, 1882. The man's was Robert Koch. And uh, since then, progress has been made. But like I said, there's still a lot of challenges regarding tuberculosis. You know, having... This year's, um, uh, sorry, Sir Bolton. Having, having, you know, discovered that, you know, just like we said, 4,100 people die from TB and nearly 30 people, 30,000 people rather, fall in with TB. Yeah. So despite it's being preventable and treatable, what exactly is the missing link between this disease and survival? Sorry, I, 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 I didn't quite get you. I'm sorry. Why do people What's still fall? Why do do people still fall? You know, you know, for tuberculosis, TB. You know, why did they get okay. to die at the end of the day? So, what's the missing link between um, survival and falling for TB? Okay. Well, the truth is, um, you know, tuberculosis basically will present like cough with with cough fever. Um, Quite often with some um, weight loss, um, drenching night sweats, those are the commonest cause, I mean, commonest presentations. But when people have cough and fever, not a lot of people go to the hospital immediately. In fact, the cost, commonest cause of death in people that have tuberculosis is delayed diagnosis. By the time people get to hospital, people diagnose malaria, typhoid, or malaria, typhoid, sometimes, okay, fine, maybe pneumonia or something. I keep loading patients with antibiotics, keep loading people with antibiotics. By the time they present, it would have eaten quite deep into the into the human fabric, mm. and um, at, at that point, there's barely much that people can do, and um, quite often, resources are not um, generally available to make um, drugs available. So even when people make a diagnosis, sometimes we have to travel distances to be able to access some um, treatment. Um, yeah, let me let me button. Let, let me button very quickly. 
Let me bust in very quickly okay. because of our time. You know, this year's World TB Day theme is invest in TB, save lives. And our yeah. Nigerian slogan is yeah. give more, do more, and TB now. So how much investment would you say the government has made in ensuring that TB is actually dealt with completely? Nigerian government hasn't done badly as a country. Nigeria has a very high burden of TB. But the government hasn't um, we've, we've done quite a lot. Diagnosis, treatment, deaths from TB actually dropped the world over, over the past, uh, between 2020 and now. In fact, for the first time, number of people that died from TB increased in number between, um, since, 20, since um, um, 2000, 2000 2020. But in Nigeria, case findings actually increased. The number of people that died from TB actually dropped. Yeah. So I would say Nigeria is not doing badly. More can be done. Oh, surely more can be done. Um, we don't have enough um, equipment yet everywhere for um, actual diagnosis. There's still, there's still some shortages. Um, more hands need to be trained. More people need to be trained to be able to um, uh, um, provide the TB care and treatment, uh, particularly in the rural areas. Um, there's still a lot more that can be done. But um, for time, I would say Nigerian government hasn't done badly. Because at the beginning, the, the, the actual uh, um, uh, Everything about TB dropped, okay? Case notifications, people that were tested for TB dropped by more than 30% when COVID started. It's actually COVID that's impacting TB. So what we're saying is, this year, let's increase what we're doing globally. Nigeria is not doing badly, but globally, a lot more needs to be done. More resources need to be invested mm. in TB to be able to treat. Right. And, um, and TB is one of those diseases where treatment provides them protection, provides them prevent, I mean, provides prevention. Because if somebody is treated for TB, he does not transmit TB anymore. Right. You can only treat it when you have the illness. So right. if you treat TB, we're preventing TB as well. Absolutely. So we have to wipe out TB by right. Absolutely. More Con aggressive. Thank Cons you. Sorry. Right. Consultant, infectious diseases physician, Federal Medical Center, Dr. Chukwemeka Anya, joining us via Zoom from Abuja. Thank you so much for your time.